guys welcome back to our channel today we have the oneplus 2 with us and we will be showing you how to unlock any oneplus device root and install custom recovery so this is a very easy process and would take about 10 minutes to complete so let's get it started the initial prerequisites will be this all this what is written in the screen you will need the USB drivers for PC which you want to install it to your current local disk C directory and then ADB fastboot drivers which need to be installed in the root C directory then TWRP recovery and super SU app which will need to flash and root the device so all the links will be given down in the description box and also I will also list all the commands to be required so coming down to the phone now we have a bunch of settings to be set up to the phone so let's get it started first go to settings and come down and go to about phone here come down and tap on the build number 7 times to unlock developer options now go back I have already done hence go back here the developer options will be unlocked open them and also come down and enable this OEM unlocking use the pattern to allow access so here enable it come down enable the advanced reboot option and also here enable the USB debugging options and click on OK these things will be required before we start the unlocking of bootloader process so now the phone settings are done now let's press the long press the power button and then click on reboot and then click on reboot to bootloader and touch to reboot let's touch so as you can see the phone booted to fast boot mode and it's on bootloader phone is in fast boot mode we need to connect the USB cable to our computer and also to the phone let's connect and make sure you install your USB drivers else the phone won't be recognized so coming down to the PC we need to go to my computer and then go to C drive and then here we have installed minimal ADB and fastboot open there and then hold shift plus right click over here in the empty space and click on open common window here so we have a command window here and we need to type this command fast boot devices so as you can see our device is listed over there here so that means the, our connection is successful and we can proceed to the unlocking of the bootloader so next command we need to enter is fast boot oem unlock and press enter remember don't uh, enter anything else copy and just enter as it is i will provide the commands in the description box so press enter it is okay and also phone reboots and while doing the unlocking of bootloader it will uh, erase all the user data and perform a factory reset so you need to back up your data if any before performing with this upgrade so here we will click on yes so it should take a time take a while to complete it we will come back once it's complete so it is completed and in the phone reboots 
will wait till it, uh, it reboots to the system our phone has rebooted once again to the system and now we have to go to the settings once again and go to about phone tap on the build number as we did before so now again we have become a developer and the developer options unlocked here we need to click on OEM unlocking and then advanced boot and also USB debugging and click on OK so now we are ready and also one thing guys if this prompt is coming up like run oneplus USB driver setup so you can run if your device is not yet connected you can run and install it I my device is connected without any issues without installing this setup you may want to install if your device is not detected by your PC and so let's get it here so next stage is to go to the folder where we downloaded the recovery file and this is our recovery file we want to copy and then go to local disk C minimal ADB fastboot folder and paste here where we installed that ADB fastboot after completing all the steps now we need to reboot our device to the bootloader mode once again so press long press the power button and click on reboot and click on boot to bootloader and then touch to reboot so device has been rebooted to fast boot mode as you can see now we need to connect our data cable once again so our data cable is connected now we need to again go to the minimal fast boot folder over here as you can see I have already gone there and now press shift and right click and open command window here so command window is opened now we need to check whether our device is successfully connected to PC or not so again we type fast boot devices so as you can see our device is here it is shown up so we can proceed to our installation of the custom recovery so for that I have pasted the TWRP file into the minimal ADP and fastboot folder and over here I will type this following command fastboot space slash space recovery space TWRP dot img please make sure to give the same name as it it is here don't give another name it may cause problems so press enter so the fast boot uh, recover the recovery has been flashed now we have to reboot to custom recovery to proceed to root process for this we need to enter this command fast boot boot and paste the name again dot img and press enter so as you can see recovery custom recovery as you can see and here we need to tap on never show again and then swipe so here we have to first copy the super sue app file which we downloaded to our root of the system 
which I have already done and now we will proceed and install go to install scroll down and then click on super sue and then swipe to confirm flash as you can see it's installing the installation was successful it has installed now we need to wipe the cache dalvik just a second yes and we need to tap here and swipe so cache has been wiped now we need to reboot system and un untick this do not install now our system is rebooting Once it is rebooted you will see this prompt android is starting it will take a time take some time but don't worry it will boot so phone has booted to the desktop once again and here we can see super sue app is installed and also I have downloaded an app called root checker basic through this app we can check whether the system is really rooted or not so just open the app agree get started and then uh, click on verify root here grant it so as you can see congratulations root access is properly installed so this device is rooted properly so thank you for watching this video guys hope you are like this video please like share subscribe and comment if you have any problems queries i will surely be thankful to help you out